A thanks key support for a new courthouse in Springfield, replacing the Roderick Ireland courthouse where toxic mold continues to cause concern. The Massachusetts trial court just a couple of months away from their deadline to complete a feasibility study that would decide if a new building is necessary. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joining us live tonight after getting answers on the status of that study. Paris. Chris, a discussion during Tuesday night's budget hearing gives us some insight to what that decision may be. We have told them that as the client, our position is we'd like to see a new courthouse in Hamden County and in the city of Springfield. The remarks of Massachusetts trial court Chief Justice Jeffrey Locke exciting many during a recent budget hearing held by the Joint Committee on Ways and Means Tuesday. He, along with another representative of the trial court, Administrator Thomas Ambrosino, showed their support for the public wanting a new courthouse to replace the Roderick Ireland courthouse. It's a substantial cost, but this is an important city, third largest city in the Commonwealth. Uh, and our courthouse ought to make a statement about the importance of this community. Back in August of 2021, the courthouse was shut down temporarily after dangerous mold was detected throughout the building. Forced to return after a cleaning, employees sued the trial court over poor working conditions. But a settlement was reached last May, giving the trial court until June 1st to complete a feasibility study to decide if they could renovate the current building or if they would need to build a new one. Also underway as part of that settlement, a health survey sent out to current and former courthouse employees to determine if a new building is necessary for the health of those working inside. They're going to gain the knowledge that they've been looking for for the past 15, 20 years about whether or not the conditions in the building would have had some impact on the health issues that they've been having. Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno tells Western Mass News he is pleased to hear Locke and Ambrosino's positions on the matter. Judicial has come around now to see in our eyes that a new courthouse here in Springfield uh, is much needed and well deserved. So that's music to my ears. He continues to show his support for a new location along the Connecticut River in downtown Springfield, north of the Memorial Bridge, proposed by owner of Peter Pan Bus Lines, Peter Picknelly. This would be a state-of-the-art courthouse that could be built within three or four years, and it would also come with 700 parking spots and more music to my ears, a uh, housing component and a little mini marina. Mayor Sarno also tells us he's hopeful that if a new courthouse is built, the current location of the courthouse would make for a great property investment opportunity. That would be prime economic development property. I'd love to get my hands on for appropriate project and maybe even ask MGM if they want to expand their footprint. Now, employees have until next Friday to complete that health survey. Attorney Jeffrey Morneau says he's hopeful that about 30 percent of eligible people will be participating. Reporting live in Springfield, Paris Sunford for Western Mass News. Paris,